were talking um, to Chuck Todd, and he said we would expect to hear from the president, and that the president, uh, Reverend Al, is going to have to show some leadership on this. What do you want to hear from him? What do you want to see him do? Well, I, I think the first thing we'd want is to see the president's continued commitment to uh, protecting voters around the country, and I think his Justice Department has used this very section. But I think more than just hearing from the president, we're going to hear from people all over the country. Let's not forget that with all the voting suppression last year, there was record turnout. People stayed in line seven and eight hours because people are not going to be robbed of their right to vote. And uh, Mark Morial and, and uh, Melanie Campbell, Ben Jealous, and I have been convening uh, black leadership around an agenda for the last several months. We're going to call an emergency summit within days to mobilize the uh, uh, national community. The president and the Congress needs to hear from us. We just announced yesterday the 50th anniversary march on Washington. This march will now be with Martin Luther King's son around protecting voter rights. What they've just done is really revoked a lot of what Dr. King's dream was all about. We built a monument to Dr. King, and part of at least half of what Dr. King's dream was about was voter rights, 65. They've just revoked that. They've just canceled the dream, and the children of the dream are not going to sit by and allow that to happen. You've shown the ability.